Hi everyone, this is Spencer with MemberPress. In today's video, I wanted to go over how to manually add transactions in MemberPress. A couple of reasons of why you may want to do this could be to give users access to your content without signing up. Now, they would need to be registered already as users in WordPress, but if they're not and you want to do it for them, you can manually add users by going to the WordPress tab Users, Add New. And that's pretty self-explanatory. Another reason could be to give your users a special promotion to give them access to your content for an extended period of time without having to set up a coupon and send them that coupon and have them enter that information in. Another reason could be that random sun flares interrupt the communications between MemberPress and your, and your gateway so that the transaction isn't recorded correctly in MemberPress. You could manually enter a transi transaction to give your users access and fix that. To do this, we're going to go into Member Press and then go to the Transactions tab. Once here, we're going to click Add New. Now you'll notice that Member Press generates for you automatically a transaction number. So really, don't worry about this. It's just a special reference for this transaction. Now when you enter in the user, a couple of options will come up based on what you enter in first. And so for this example, I'm going to um, give access to my friend Bobby Free, who I want to give access to my site. In the membership, you're going to select from this drop down menu the membership you want to give them access to. I want to give them access to my premium content. Now, one important thing to note here is in the amount, you can enter in the amount for your um, membership here, but it doesn't really matter. And the reason is because all manually entered transactions are not recorded. On the gateway level. This is simply just for member press purposes and to give your users access. That being said, you're going to have to move the status from pending to complete. If it's not complete, if it's not marked as complete, then your user won't have access and the transaction will just be marked as pending. But you can always go back in and mark that as complete. The gateway, you can put that to the gateway that's normally associated with the membership you're giving them access to, or you can leave it to manual. It doesn't really matter. The subscription, here you would enter in the subscription number that you see here. Um, if it's a for someone who already has a subscription on your site, for example, if you want to give someone um, more extended access to your content. The create at date isn't really that important. I would just leave it as today. Now, if you click this default button, what that will do is give you the normal terms for this transaction. For example, this my premium membership is set to expire after a year, or it's a yearly recurring subscription. So that means that this one transaction will expire in a year. But if I want to give that person access for just a little bit longer, then I can edit that to be however I want it to be. At the end, you're going to hit Create, and there you go. You've successfully created your first transaction manually in MemberPress.